Got it. I got it. Um, welcome, welcome. I am Chal I am Diane Studinka. I am uh, actually the interim dean for social and behavioral sciences currently, uh, but I have taught in the child development department for uh, 27 years, and I worked at the early childhood education lab school prior to that. So I have I've been at Palomar for over 27 years, and and held a variety of roles. So I started off as the three-year-old teacher <laughs> in the preschool classroom. Um, so I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of background to know that like, even though starting in um, in child development as the preschool teacher and such, I worked in Head Start programs and so forth. And I worked my way up to site supervisor, to program director, um, to teaching full-time in the child development department for um, more than 22 years. And then I was um, this just this last August, I was um, uh, given the opportunity to become the interim dean for social and behavioral sciences, which child development is under the child development faculty that are currently teaching in the department would have loved to have been here tonight. But it just happened to be that they had their first um, early educator meeting their their child development education meeting for all their students tonight, and that had been planned prior so that's why they're not able to be here tonight with you. But I am and I am so and I can answer any of your questions any and all of your questions that you might have around child development. So let's get started a um, couple things real quick, you know what can I do with a child development or education degree so recently we just added education to our department so. I'm going to probably be remiss in saying child development all the time and kind of ignoring the education part, but please, 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 I, I it's not on purpose. It's just my the, the way in which I've been, uh, you know, I've been saying this for so many years. So um, what can you do with a child development or education degree? There's look, there's a lot of things and there's a whole bunch of other things beyond this. So if you haven't thought of maybe what it is that you want to do um, with your life. Um, in, but you know you like working with children or you know you like working with families, you think you might want to be um, a, a teacher, an elementary, edu you know, elementary school teacher, or you want to work with infants, all of these things become a nanny, um, but other things as well, for instance, um, you know, family lawyers becoming a counselor, um, if you like the birthing process, of course, uh, doulas and lactation, childbirth educators and such. So we have a wide range of opportunities that our um, child development students can go down. In fact, I use one of a example, our, um, our vice president of human resources, uh, uh, our previous vice president of human resources, she was, she was a lawyer and she was the vice president of human resources and she started off in child development. So it goes to show that there's a lot of different avenues you can take um, within this field. Uh, where do I get information about child development and education programs at Palomar College? You're going to get them from our website. So if you just, um, you know, in the search box at Palomar, you can just type in child development department. Um, and then you would, um, of course, you would get to this website. So um, I, I, I'm not gonna show, I, I might be able to go there and show you guys a little bit of it in a couple minutes, but um, I wanted to at least give you the information and let you know that we do have a, a, a very robust website that you can visit anytime. Courses, we have um, 30 plus separate courses that cover a wide variety of topics in early child education. So we have theory classes, meaning like our child growth and development course, which kind of talks about children from birth all the way through um, adolescence. Uh, we have practicum and curriculum classes. So anybody enjoy um, doing art with children? you know, singing songs with children, uh, learning about all the different curriculum. Yeah, um, all the different curriculum areas playing, you know, blocks and dramatic play and outside, you know, getting, um, you know, having the children be physically active and such. So we've got classes around those areas. We also have administration classes. So if you're thinking that, you know, someday you might want to become a director, we have those courses. We really focus in child development on, on children birth to age eight with a real high emphasis on birth to age five. Um, as I said, our education courses were like either under construction. I put that little sign on there because we are just starting off. Um, I think we're probably hopefully going to be able to offer our first course coming up in the fall semester. So there's probably going to be about three, maybe four classes total in for education. But these are really courses that you're going to take and you want to transfer maybe to Cal State San Marcos, which is a great our great neighbor across the, the freeway. And uh, there's lots of opportunities for you to um, explore different pathways uh, within education at Cal State San Marcos. Of course, any other college as well, but we do have a really great connection with Cal State San Marcos. On that side too, 
even for child development, within child development, we also have a transfer pathway for child development as well. So there is a child and adolescence. So if you want to get your bachelor's degree um, at Cal State San Marcos, you could do it either in child development or education. So there's lots of opportunities there for you. Um, first classes, these are, these are your first basic classes to take at child development. Now, of course, the thing is about child development is you pretty much can take them in almost any order. Um, but we highly suggest taking these classes first. So these might be the ones that you might want to write down. The Child Development 99 is a preparation for child development majors. It's a half unit class. That means it's like an eight hour class. Okay. Sometimes we used to do it on a, on a, on two Saturday mornings. Uh, right now we do it online, but, uh, and it's a four week class. So it's a quick class. It's a, like I said, a half unit, but what in that class, it's going to prepare you for, um, learning about things like APA format, which is the American Psychological Association, how to format your papers, um, how to write your papers in, in a sense. Also, you know, talking about plagiarism, we're going to go over things like child development permits. Um, people always say, I want to get my license in child development. You don't get a license in child development. A, a center's licensed, but a person actually can um, earn a permit um, from the state of California in, in child development. I'm not going to go over that too much tonight because I know we're just kind of getting into this and this these are you know new pathways and such. So I'm not going to get into all that depth, but in child development 99, you will get into that depth, okay? Um, the other two classes, these are three unit classes, child development 100 and 115. Those two are required by community care licensing to work in any child care center. So if you're going to work in a child care, you want to work in, in a child care center. Um, and when I say child care center, that is basically anything from, you know, zero, you know, six weeks, usually six weeks to age five. Um, but if you want to work in before and after school programs, those classes would also count towards that as well. So um, lots of opportunities there for you if, you if you start off with those two classes. Both those classes, 100 and 115, are also transferable courses. And they also count in, in parts of your, um, your general education pathways. So lots of opportunities there when you take those two um, classes first and kind of get your feet wet with it. Um, what degrees do Palomar, does Palomar College offer? Well, this is a, I know it's a lot on this page. So <laughs> on our website, you can go see this, okay? Um, I, I, I completely know and understand there's a lot here. But basically what we've done is we've created stackable degrees. So those, those first three courses I talked about, the Child 99, the 100, and 115 are all part of our associate teacher certificate, which is a, a, a certificate which is uh, 12 and a half units. So you would take uh, the 99, the 100, the 104, which is a guidance class for children. I suggest anybody take that class, like even parents take that class. <laughs> like how do you work with children and, and, and help guide them through some of the, the issues and problems they have sometimes. Um, and the 115 class, our child family community class, then you would take one of these classes. These are all curriculum classes. So these are the fun ones. These are the art, the music and movement, math and science, language and lit literature. Um, then, you know, when you, as you're taking these courses here as associate teacher, you can then add on to that by taking these courses. And this is where you can actually get your degree in child development. So this is where you can get a certificate of achievement and an associate's degree in child development. Um, from there, we have different pathways like here for administration. For those of you who don't want to necessarily work on the floor, meaning, you know, work with the children hands on day to day, you might be interested in our child and family services degree. And then, of course, we have our master teacher um, degrees here for infant toddler, um, our preschool pathway, and then also our early inclusion. So if you want to work with children that have special needs or di diagnosed disabilities, you might want to go with that path. So our most popular path is right down the middle, the associate teacher, teacher, and master teacher for, for preschool. But any of these paths gets you to where you want to go. Okay. So um, I'm, I, I, these are addition, this additional information kind of gives you more of the, um, the, the courses and the language and such, um, the, the titles of the courses, should I say, for the associate teacher, because that's probably what you're going to be working on first. That's usually what most people start off with, with the 12 units. With the 12 and a half units, you can also then become a teacher in many child care programs. So, um, for instance, you can become the lead teacher with 12 units. I personally don't suggest becoming the lead teacher with 12 units. <laughs> I think that's still kind of an introductory um, position, more like, you know, with 12 units, more like an assistant and so forth. But um, within California, you can do that. So some sites might want to hire you as a lead teacher. 
Um, again, we have eight programs total. We have uh, two certificates and six certificates of achievements. So I wanna make sure I leave time for questions here. Um, so I'm gonna go through this. So again, we, we have all those. Um, we also have an early childhood education lab school. So we actually have children on site at, at uh, both our San Marcos campus as well as our Escondido campus. And for uh, our San Marcos, we have children um, from six months to five years. So we have an infant room, we have toddler rooms, and we have preschool age classrooms. Our Escondido site is our state preschool site. So we have four half day programs. Right now we have two COVID, but we'll, we'll ramp up to four here coming up, um, hopefully starting July 1. Um, and for that program, uh, we have our preschools. So we have our state preschool program. So anybody interested? So any of you, if you have children, you might wanna bring your child, your child if they're from six months to five years to our site um, on either one of our campuses. And um, students do get, um, you know, do get a priority by coming, you know, on our waitlist application and so forth. So the first thing to do is to fill out the waitlist application on our website. So again, this is one of those, if you go to uh, the Palomar College homepage and you want to type in ECE Lab School or Early Childhood Education Lab School, and then that will get you to the site. Um, we also, for our students, um, if you have children three to five, we do have subsidized services. So that means you might uh, not have to pay anything for your childcare. Um, if you have a, a three to five year old and you meet certain um, income and uh, guidelines for that program. We also do accept other program funding, for instance, like YMCA or CDA. So some of our younger children have YMCA, CDA or our preschool children have YMCA, CDA. I can see April getting very excited here. So I'm really excited on April's side. <laughs> <laughs> I can see her joy. So um, yes, we have lots of lots of uh, opportunities here for um, child care services. So going to the website and getting on the wait list is the first priority, April, okay? Or anyone else in that group, that is the number one priority. You want to get on that wait list because we do have um, a wait list for our, our um, program. But yes, and I'm going to oh, hope hopefully open it up here to questions in just a couple seconds. Um, if you have additional questions, this is the contact information for our full-time faculty within child development. Normally my name would be listed up there, but now I said I'm, I'm not um, teaching right now currently, but these are the questions that you might have for our um, full-time faculty. And again, all that contact information is on our child development website. So I am going to open it up to questions. Any questions? How, uh, uh, how much time do I have left? Where are we at time-wise? Yeah, two or three minutes. So, you okay. know, anybody Good. please I, take I, this I did pretty well on my timing then. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I, because I, I, I can go back over other stuff. I can talk about other things. And no one has any questions. Anybody? So, then I'm going to put it out there as to um, if you want to raise your hand, do the little hand raise things. How many of you um, are, you know, uh, are looking at this because you enjoy working with young children? Or you like children? You like being around children? Anybody have a hand up on that? Nobody wants to be around children? I'm sorry. They're so fun. Oh, April does. Okay. I have kids. I have three, actually. <laughs> you have three children. Okay. All right. So um, he's going to be seven. One will be thirteen, and my little girl is actually three. So <laughs> oh, so that little girl, that your 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 little girl, she's the one who could come into our she's program. She's in the CDA program as well right now. So I'm sorry. Say that again. She's in the CDA program right now as well, and she goes to daycare right now. But yeah. so yeah, so if you if you decide to come over our way, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, we have a, a great program at our San Marcos campus because that would be our full day program and such, and would be our CDA program would be in San Marcos. And um, yeah, we accept children, you know, all children, community children, staff, faculty children, student children, of course. Um, mm -hmm. So we we're we're inclusive of all. So Heck yeah. That definitely helps me. <laughs> yeah. So even if you're not interested in, in working in with young children or anything along those lines, please save that information and let others know because we do have um, a great um, program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions? Nothing. Do you have to have a high school diploma to enroll in these courses? Great question. Is it Mendy? Yes. Yes. Mendy. Great question. No, you do not. You do not have to have any high school diploma or anything like that. Um, you do not. Um, anybody, as long as you can, as long as you're enrolled in the college, you're, you've um, applied to the college, 
um, you can you can take our courses. The Thank one you. thing I will say though is working in the field. So like to actually start working in a child care program and such, you do have to be 18 years or older. So um, you don't have to be 18 years or older to take our classes, but you do have to be 18 years or older to actually start working in the field. I'm way over 18, I'm almost 40. So I guess I'm way over that age limit. <laughs> So yes, yes. Um, the, the one thing you could do, you could. I started off at six, at uh, seventeen, working in a in a family child care program. So um, you can you can do that family child care side of it, and that might be an option too. Some of you might be interested in family child care and opening up your own child care in your home, um, which can be a great um, opportunity for many as well. So um, there are lots of opportunities out there. Uh, any other questions? Naomi, Shauna, Kadera, if I'm if I'm saying that right, I hope so. Kelly, Yadira, Prathana, Pr Prathana, maybe Monica, Carolyn, Jeannie, somebody, nobody. All right. Our... Was, so it's just for this course. We don't need a high school diploma to start you... these. Correct. You, do, you don't need a high school diploma to, to sign up for Palomar at all. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. Oh, hi. Hi. My name is Monica. I'm working right now in a, a, a Head Start. I'm a, a um, food service person yeah. but sometimes I'll, I'll help the teachers you know with the kids and taking uh taking care so i'm 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 finishing my uh high school diploma right now uh, maybe like in a month i'm gonna be finishing so i just heard that oh my gosh there is no necessary to have it so i get i can get enrolled yeah until i finish my high school my, high, yeah. my congratulations and I'm, I'm hoping that all the rest of you are on that same path if, if that's I your already path. am I'm going to have some good adult school right now, working on my diploma. So I should get it here in a couple months. Excellent. Excellent. So um, on that side, we do have, we will have summer school classes. I'm sorry. That's okay. So um, we will have summer school classes in child development. So we do have summer school classes in child development. Um, we do have fat. I, we, I don't, I think we, we do have a couple fast track two classes, which are coming up here, like in a month, but I want to make sure you guys finish that, uh, that high school diploma first. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, Finish yeah, that up. I'm, get, I'm almost done. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Get that solidified. So don't you know? Don't put too much on your plate um, too soon. So make sure you get that all solidified before you um, you start taking classes. Just because then you know you've got. Okay, I did that. I have got my diploma. I've checked it off. I I, I know I can move forward. So so um, I don't want to. More with a diploma than you can without. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry. That what did you say, April? You can do a lot more with a high school diploma than you can without one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so, and it, you're, it, it, you're never too late. It's never too late to start. That's, that's my opinion on everything. So never too late to start. Um, in fact, I just, and just to let you know, I finished my doctorate just in August. So, and I hadn't gone to school for 25 years. So it'd been like 25 years since I gone to school and I was like, can I write a paper? So I know, like, I felt like that as well. So, um, and I was working full time and taking classes. So I know how it goes. Um, I've been right there. I'm in the thick of it with you guys. So um, yeah, so I would suggest finishing your diploma first and then moving on and, and you know, join us in the summer, something along those lines and or in the fall, when, you know, whenever you're ready, we're here. Okay. All right. Thank you. And you say I can save this information that is right now at the screen, right? S say that last part again. I'm sorry. I can save this information, the, uh, those emails that you got right here at the screen. Okay. I can. Yep. And it's, yep. this is San Marcos, right? We have, we have classes in San Marcos. We also have classes in Escondido. All right. Okay. Nice. Yep. Thank you so, so much. So, yep, yep. Yep. So we do offer both and we do offer online classes. The majority of our classes are probably taught online. So, and we do some, we're also doing some high flex classes which are great. Like you could either be in the classroom or you could be online and you as a student get to choose. And we're like one of the first departments to really take that under our wings. So, um, and maybe hybrid classes too. So classes where you go one day a week to class and then the rest of it's online. So we have lots of different opportunities within child development to, to hopefully meet our students' needs. And those are your needs. No, very nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And I can tell we're probably at end of time, right? 
Yeah, just about, folks. So thank you again, Diane, and thank you, everybody, for your questions. There were some good questions in there. Uh, and again, uh, like Monica, you were just asking about if this information is available to you. Yes, this is all being recorded in case you don't have time to jot it down right now. We're going to post this again on the Path to Palomar website so you can come back to it and view it anytime you want. Yeah. So for thank now, so folks. Much. We can just Thank head back you. to pathtopalomar.com and thanks again to Diane Studinka. Thank you. Thank you all Thank for you, coming. Thank you, Ms. Diane. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Thank you.